What's up everyone, this is Dr. Webb here. Uh, today, I'm gonna be talking about how to survive during your uh, first year of med school. Um, a lot of people are gonna be starting med school here soon. Congratulations to all of you. Medicine is a, uh, a great feel. I enjoy it, even though it's a lot of work. It's definitely uh, very rewarding. Um, but your first year of med school can be a challenge for a lot of people because Kind of out of, come, coming out of college, uh, you may have been in the top portion of your class, made straight A's in college, uh, went to a very well-known school, but when you get to medical school, things change. There are a lot, everyone's pretty smart. Um, everyone's very intelligent, come from Ivy League schools. So your competition is, uh, is the, the uh, stakes are a lot higher. Um, but before you start medical school, I had a, a couple questions from, from uh, students asking me um, what should I do the first couple weeks or the summer right before med school you should relax trust me uh, because once med school starts um, it's basically non-stop until your summer you may get a summer break after first and second year of med school but after that uh, I wish I still got summer breaks that would be nice uh, but just relax take a break don't spend your entire summer studying um, enjoy yourself you know go take a vacation overseas go volunteer spend time with your family because once school starts it's gonna get busy uh, but once school does start I think it's important to find out how you study best whether that's in the library or whether that's in school at the school whether that's at home for me I can't study in the library so I studied at home and by myself and then I got together with a group of people and we reviewed our notes and lectures prior to the tests. And I found out that er uh, pretty early on. So find out how you study best. There's gonna be a transition coming from college where you take 12 hours of college credit, three classes, four classes. In med school, you're gonna be taking 25, 30 hours of credit a semester. It's very high, it's very fast paced, lots of material. Uh, one of my professors in medical school described it as trying to drink from a faucet. Um, a, um, you know, you have all this material that you're throwing at you, and you have to regurgitate it on the test. So, um, you have to um, find out how you study best. You have to uh, find balance. And what this means is uh, taking time off for yourself, uh, your uh, health, going to the gym, stay active, eat healthy, all that stuff is very important. Uh, you have to tell your family members, hey, I'm not going to be available from Monday to Friday. I'll call you guys on Sunday, but during the week, I'm going to be studying in the library, and that's, that's, that's what it's going to take to survive in med school. Uh, you have to stay organized. Like I said, it's a lot of material. What I used to do is write things down that I need to accomplish that day, and I wrote a list for the week. This is what I want to accomplish this week. This is what I want to accomplish this day. And I didn't go to bed, I didn't go to sleep until those things were done. Uh, and just making check marks. I think if, if you check things off, that's going to give you a sense of accomplishment at the end of the day. So, uh, Next, I think, don't be afraid to ask for help. I've seen a lot of med students in my class, people who were very intelligent. They went to very uh, prestigious schools, but when they got to med school, they struggled. And you have this sense of pride, like, oh, I... I I um, had a 4.0 in, in college at Cornell. I'm not going to ask for help, but that's the wrong um, kind of idea to have. I think if you if you need help, you need to ask for it. You, you need to ask for it early because um, medical school is it's a different ball game. And like I said, it's it's it's, it's, it's definitely challenging. It's going to push you to your limits. Uh, the tests are very very um, you know interested and challenging in themselves. So if you need some help on a particular subject on organizing, on your study habits, skills, you need to ask for it. Um, next, I would say, um, just remember why you're doing it, because uh, me medicine is it's, it's a long road, and uh, you, you're just starting off, you know, until you get to that end point of 10, 12 years down the line, uh, you need to definitely pace yourself. So, when you're struggling, and when, you, when you're having a hard time, just ask yourself, uh, why did I do this in the first place? What was it about medicine that got me interested in it? And that's what's gonna keep you uh, going in the long run. Uh, so 
first year of medical school is very challenging, but it's very doable. You, you guys can do well. It's the foundation and everything after that is built upon your first year of medical school. Uh, so definitely learn the material well. Uh, ask a lot of questions. Ask for help if you need it. Stay organized. Have some balance. And always remember why you went into medicine. That's going to keep you grounded and keep you going through those hard times. This is Dr. Webb here, and I will see you next time.